हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इंजीनियर्स एकेडमी काइंडली सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल इफ़ यू हैवेंट सब्सक्राइब इट हेट नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम हिबलर स्टेटिक्स एंड द प्रॉब्लम इट इज सेड दैट एक्सप्रेस ईच ऑफ द फोर्स इन कार्टिजन वेक्टर फॉर्म एंड डिटरमाइन द मैग्नीट्यूड एंड कॉर्डिनेट डायरेक्शन एंगल्स ऑफ द रिजल्ट फोर्स सो फर्स्ट वी नीड टू रेप्रेजेंट दिस एफ ए बी फोर्स एज अ कार्टिजन वैक्टर एंड दिस एफ ए सी फोर्स एज अ कार्टिजन वैक्टर एंड देन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रिजल्ट so is we know that this f a b force vector will be equal to f a b magnitude times the unit vector from a to b and as we know that the magnitude is given which is uh, 250 newton power f a b so this will be 250 times the unit vector is equal to r a b the position vector from a to b divided by its magnitude r a b so first of all we need to find the position vector from a to b so in order to find the position vector from a to b uh, what we need to do is that we need to find the position of this point b from that point a right so if i write that the position vector from a to b is equal to so we need to find all those distances along the positive x y and z axis that we need to move from this point a until that point b so if we look into this figure so from point a we need to reach that point b so in order to reach that point b we need to travel 3 meters in the negative z direction this 3 meters in the negative z direction so this means that we need to move 3 meters in the negative k direction right let me write it here so we need to move minus 3k and then we need to move uh, this distance plus this distance in the positive y direction right so this distance is 0.75 and this distance is 2 uh sin of 45 right we are given this blue triangle and the hypotenuse of this triangle is 2 meters and this hypotenuse is making 40 degrees with the positive x axis so this distance is 2 sin of 40 degrees right so to reach that point b we need to move 0.75 plus 2 sin of 40 uh, meter distance in the positive y direction right so i need to write 0.75 plus 2 sin of 40 in the positive j direction and once we reach here then we need to move this much distance in the positive x direction this is along the positive x so this distance is if this is 2 sin 40 then this distance is 2 cos of 40 so this is 2 cos of 40 degrees so this distance is 2 cos of 40 degrees so we need to move 2 cos of 40 degrees in the positive i direction that is in the positive x direction so 2 cos of 40 this is 1.532 so we can say that it is approximately 1.53 i plus 0.75 plus 2 sin of 40 so this is 2.04 2.04 j minus 3 k now we can find the magnitude of our ab so the magnitude of our ab i will find it directly we need to take this the sum of the squares of all the components and then we need to take the square root so we will take the square root then 1.53 square that is the x component then 2.04 square plus this 3 square so the magnitude of our ab is 2.9 uh, 3.94 so this is 3.94 approximately and this will be in meters and similarly this is also in meters so now if i if i put these uh, our ab and magnitude in this equation so we can write that fab is 250 and let me write the magnitude here right so this will be our ab magnitude into our ab position vector so the magnitude is 3.94 so let me write it here this is 3.94 and 
R A B is that vector position vector. So this is one point five three I plus two point zero four J minus three K. So we can simplify it. We this will give us the F A B Cartesian vector. So F A B. This is two fifty divided by three point nine four. So this gives us sixty three point four five. So sixty three point four five multiplied by one point five three. We will multiply this ratio with all of these components, right? So sixty three point four five into one point five three is ninety seven point zero seven. Ninety seven point zero seven i plus uh, this sixty three point four five into two point zero four. This is hundred and twenty nine point four four. J, and then multiply by minus three. So this gives us minus hundred and ninety point three five K. So this is the Cartesian vector form of the force from A to B. Similarly, we will apply the same method to find uh, F B C F A C. So again, we can write that F A C. Vector will be equal to F A C magnitude times the unit vector from A to C, and similarly the F A C magnitude is given, which is 400. So this is 400, and the unit vector from A to C will be R A C, the position vector divided by its magnitude. So again, we need to find this R A C, and I can write that R A C magnitude here, right? So this is R A C magnitude into that R A C position vector. So now we need to find that R A C. So again, we need to find all those dis dis distances we which we need to move from A to reach that point C, right? So we can see that this is 400 divided by R A C magnitude. Into so in order to reach that point C first we need to move that three meters distance in the negative k direction so I will write minus three k and then we need to move this distance this small distance so this small distance from here to here this distance is one meter and this distance is point seven five so this small distance is one minus point seven five so this is point two five. So point two five in the negative y direction. This is the positive y. So I will write minus zero point two five in the negative j direction. And then we need to move this distance, this two meters distance, in the positive x direction. That is in the positive y. So I will write two i. So this is our AB, and we can find the magnitude of our AB. So the magnitude of our AB will be two square plus zero point two five square. Plus three square, so this gives me three point six one magnitude, right? So we can write that this R A C magnitude is three point six one. So F A C Cartesian vector is equal to. So then this ratio we will multiply this ratio with each and every component. So four hundred divided by three point six one multiplied by two. So this is two hundred and twenty-one point six one i, and then multiply by minus zero point two five. So this is minus twenty-seven point seven zero j, and then multiply by minus three. So this is minus three thirty-two point four one minus. So this is the F A B vector, Cartesian vector representation. This is in newtons, and this is also in newtons. Remember. Now we need to find the resultant. So the resultant will be equal to F A B plus F A C. So we need. 
to add the corresponding components of FAB with FAC. So we need to add this X component of FAB with the X component of FAC, similarly the J component and similarly the K component. So that will give us the resultant, right? So I will add them directly using the calculator. So again we can see that uh, this is the X component 97.07 plus 221.61. So this gives us 318.68, 318.68 along the positive i, then this 129.44, 129.44 plus this component, this is minus 27.70. So this gives us 101.74. J and similarly this uh, minus 190.35 plus minus 332.41. So this is minus 522.76 in the k direction. Now we can find the resultant magnitude directly as well then again we will take the squares of all these components and then we will take the square root. So 318.68 square plus 101.74 square plus 522.76 square. So this gives us the resultant magnitude equals to 620.63. Newtons. Then we were uh, we are asked to find the coordinate direction angles of the resultant force. So, if if I write the resultant uh, as the resultant vector in the co coordinate direction angles form, right? So we can write that the resultant will be equal to resultant magnitude cos of alpha i plus r cos of beta j plus r cos of gamma k. This is the resultant uh, in terms of the coordinate direction angles right and this alpha beta and gamma these are the angles of the resultant with the positive x y and z axis respectively. So now if we compare both of these so from this we can say that r cos of alpha is equal to 318.68 right so again we can say that cos of alpha is equal to 318.68 divided by its magnitude which is uh, 620.63 and to find uh, th this is alpha remember this is alpha right so so from this we can write that alpha will be equal to cos inverse of this ratio. Similarly if we compare both of these so from this we can say that beta will be equal to cos inverse this 101.74 divided by that magnitude which is 620.63 and similarly gamma will be equal to cos inverse this minus 522.76 divided by the magnitude of the R, the resultant, which is 620.63. So, cos inverse 318.68 divided by 620.63. So, this is the angle with the positive x axis comes out to be 59.10. degrees and then here we have 101.74 101.74 so this gives us beta 80.56 degrees and similarly we can find that gamma so that gamma is minus 522.76 divided by that same resultant magnitude. So gamma is 147.38. So
So in the problem statement, we were asked to find the resultant of uh, this FAB and this FAC. So the resultant magnitude is 620.63 newtons, and the angle of the resultant with the positive x-axis is, is 59.10, with the positive y-axis is 80.56. And with the positive z-axis is 147.38. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope you people would have understood uh, this particular problem solution. Kindly subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet. Also like this video if you people want me to solve such more problems.